hey guys welcome back to my channel eg motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but using some simple and cool techniques so without wasting any more time let's get started <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop, I will select my logo layer, I will go to the select, choose color range and I will select on this color picker and I will select this white color and hit ok. So it will select all the white color over here and hit delete, hit ctrl D to deselect this as we can see there is no white color at the background now I will choose my rectangle tool and I want all of these things like each alphabet on the different layers so I will select this A hit ctrl X create new layer press ctrl shift V to paste in place that A after that I will hide it and I will follow the same procedure for this B and all of these alphabets Make sure that this square is in uh, on the separate layer because we need to animate this square differently. So I'll select this first. Press Ctrl X. Select this layer and Ctrl X. I'll hide this one for now. I will separate this one also. So we have this thing on the separate layer. Now as you can see we are getting some mistakes over here. So for that what I'll do. Press V for selection tool. I'll select this. As we can see we don't need this. So I'll choose my rectangle tool. And I'll select this thing. And hit delete. Hit Control D same goes for this one i'll hide this one as you can see we don't need these things i'll go over here i'll select this one and hit delete Control d same for this small pixel Yes, otherwise all looks good to me. As you can see, now we will hide this all this. As you can see, we are not getting a proper edge over here. So for that, what I'll do, I'll select this one. I'll create one rectangle over here to this. Hit delete and hit control D. Unhide all of them. As you can see, we are getting this logo. Now save our Photoshop file. I'll save over here, call it as logo and hit OK, hit OK. Now we will go to the After Effects, create new composition, I'll call it as main, animation, width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, duration is 1.30 seconds and for the background color i'll choose solid white and hit ok let's make it to fit title safe action enable i'll hit ctrl i to import my logo this is my logo file i'll hit import to composition return layers and sizes and import it over here and hit ok 
drag this logo comp over here go inside this logo as you can see we are getting all these things over here select all of them press ctrl x go to the main animation and press ctrl v and drag all of them over here at the center i'll delete this logo right click new create one null object select all of them and make a parent with this null object press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit and now i'll delete that null object so first thing we will do we will animate this thing over here so i'll drag this thing at the top and i'll call it as box so hit enter and name it as box and hit ok now we will hide all of them for now except this a over here hit enter and type a for now select this one hit enter d name it accordingly yep we don't need to focus on this thing or this thing so i'll move this select this box we need to adjust the anchor point at the center so press y on keyboard and i'll drag this anchor point over here press v to select our selection tool and what i'll do i'll drag this over here now press p for position property and create one key not keyframe but hit p for position property select this position right click and type separate dimensions so it will create separate dimensions for x and y i'll initially move this thing at the top and create one keyframe on this y position zoom in a little bit go to the one seconds and i'll drag this thing over here select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor and select this handle and by holding shift i'll adjust this handle something like this choose to fit hide all of them now move this keyframe a little bit over here now after that what i want this this should go at this b position so for that what i'll do i'll create one keyframe on this x position and at one seconds i'll move this over here so it will automatically create one keyframe over here and i'll create another keyframe on this y position now in the middle of them i'll drag this thing over here or let's say over here move this a little bit yep select this one hit f9 after that we will unhide this not i but our d so now select this one go at 20 frames forward move this y uh, x position over here create one keyframe on the y position go over here in middle of this and move this up to here let's say by holding alt drag this and move it over here now after this it should be go to the a so select this go to two seconds or let's say over here and move this over here and create one keyframe on the y position in middle of this drag this over here at the top adjust those keyframes accordingly then it should be at s so move this thing over here select this logo and move this thing over here create and again create another keyframe on the y position in the middle of this 
drag this over here now after this it should be come back at this eye so for that go something over here drag this thing at this eye position in middle of this it should be let's say at the top so i'll move this by over here by holding alt i'll drag these things after this bounce it should be go let's say at this point and then it will come back at this position now as we can see we are getting this kind of stuff i'll hide all of them because we need our keyframes are ready but as we can see the it doesn't look like it's bouncing because we need to do some adjustments on the graph of this but before that what i'll do i'll select this press r for rotation property and create one keyframe over here and hit u now over here let's make it one that is it means it will rotate again over here let's make it two let's make it three let's make it four and at this position let's make it three again so it will rotate backward or let's say two let's see how does it looks and after this it should be again let's say three now select this y position select all the keeper keyframes on this y position go to the graph editor select this graph editor as we can see all of them are on the edit speed graph so select this y position hit f9 go to the graph editor now we need to do some adjustment over here select this one move this thing over here and move this thing over here if i hit play as we can see we are getting this bouncy look over here we need to follow the same procedure procedure for all of them now if i hit play as we can see we are getting this proper bouncy animation for all of them now after that we will select this rotation keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor by holding shift i'll adjust this graph like this or you uh, instead of that just simply hit f9 we don't need to adjust the graph for this one so if i hit play we will get this now after that what we need to do we will see in the next part of this tutorial So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.